Hello everybody. I am back on the lives and I want to launch our 30th or 31 day March fasting challenge. So it's going to be for the whole Okay, actually I'm just going to wait for you guys to sign on. <laughs> Maybe I'll just delete this and start over. <laughs> Let's see who's coming on. Who's on here right now? There's a couple people on here. Hi, every guys. <laughs> Bonsoir, ma chérie. Hey, Dimitri's back. I haven't done these in such a long time that I like forgot how to act. Hey, everybody. Hi. <laughs> okay, so a lot of you guys are veterans of our community. You guys know how this stuff works. A couple people are actually new on here doing a challenge for the first time. So you know how it works, you hit that like button, we get started. <laughs> I started on a really rough note, I forgot how to, how to speak, you guys are all here. Uh, Jamie's here, Rebecca's here, you guys are all here. Rebecca, I don't know if you saw the video, I, I sent you a compilation video that I made of everyone's success stories and you were on there, so I just uh, I sent it over to you, I hope you liked it. I'm new, put me on, awesome, <laughs> okay. So a couple of you guys are on here now. A lot of other people are going to watch it during the playback later. They're going to be, because they're on different time zones and stuff, a couple of you guys are in New Zealand, a couple of you guys are in Australia, a couple of you guys are on the other side of the world. So you guys are already kind of getting started on day two, depending on the time difference. You're like 18 hours ahead. So I just wanted to give you guys a couple instructions. We've got our post-it board here as usual, so we're going to be taking the post-its off one day at a time. And I'm gonna give everybody a recap for whoever doesn't know what's going on and who's new and you don't know where to start, you don't know how the challenge works. So here it is. So, March Fasting Challenge. I think we're the ones that have the biggest online water fasting parties in the entire world because I don't know anybody that's fast as a group like us. But I'm gonna tell you guys a couple things what you can drink, what you can't drink, something that's gonna motivate you, and we're gonna start like that. So I'm so glad for you guys to join us. If this is your first time ever doing a water fast, then pace yourself. If you wanna do just one day and then continue on with intermittent fasting, whether you're doing an 18 hour, six hour eating window, or you're doing like a 24, or you're doing OMAD, which is 23-1, you have so many options out there. A lot of us are gonna be going on an extended water fasting journey, so that's what I'm doing, extended water fasting. And that's what we're gonna do right now. So, something wrong with the video. What's going on with the video? Is everyone, uh, can everybody hear me? Can everybody see me? Are we having some trouble? 40 plus is here, Belgium is present. Okay, let me know if there's a problem with the video and if something is going on. Um, for cashew, okay, loud and clear. Uh, for the calendar down below, whoever's not part of our emailing list, if you guys don't have the calendar, I put the calendar link in the description box. Everything you guys need to know is in the description box down below. All the supplements I'm going to recommend that are optional, any of the books that I'm going to talk about, all optional, from like keto strips to tongue scraper to books, everything you need is in the description box down below. So check that. If you guys want a fast forward to health t-shirt, that's down there too. If you want the calendar, just click down below at the top left of the uh, of that link where the calendar is, you could press subscribe if you don't get the emails already and subscribe to our email list like that. So let's get started. Before we get started, if everyone can hit that like button to show me how excited you are to start this challenge, we are going strong in March and we're going to get to our goals this summer. So another thing I wanted to talk about really quickly is that I want this fasting challenge this time to be focusing really on your mental state. Okay, I don't want people really obsessing about the weight loss because as you guys know, you will lose weight by default, okay? It's just kind of, um, I think Tara, I think maybe if you close the video and open the video again, you might have uh, you might have access. It might be your internet connection or something because it seems like I'm loud and clear for a couple others. So maybe close the window and come back on and see if that helps to just refresh it. So um, I just wanted to tell you guys, I want everybody to focus on how they feel. Okay, I want everyone to listen to their bodies. I want everyone to check with a doctor if you guys haven't already just to get that green light to go ahead. There's a couple people that shouldn't be fasting. If you're pregnant, nursing, breastfeeding, same thing. If you have pre-existing medical conditions, if, you have, if you're prone to eating disorders, like just make sure that you're getting that clearance and if you have any pre-existing problems, check with a doctor and maybe fasting's not for you. So anyway, before that, 
We are going to focus mostly on your mood this month because water fasting is going to have that weight loss side effect. Weight loss is going to happen by default because you're not consuming anything, but you have to remember that at the general stage, they usually say that it's an average of 0.5 pounds per day that's an actual loss. So yes, you might lose a lot of weight the first week, you might plateau at some point, but remember, you need to continue and just think of this as a mental journey because you're not gonna fast once, lose the whole weight, and then you're gonna be free from fasting forever. It's a journey, so we're gonna do this forever. Hey, everybody who just signed on, welcome. Okay, so now that I got that out of the way and we're focusing on the mental aspect of water fasting and going through that journey to really fix our relationship with food, now we're going to talk about what can I have during a water fast. I'm gonna read all the comments after, guys. You guys have so many comments and I'm really excited, but I also wanna get through this video so I can answer everything after. Um, now, I wanna do seven days in fashion. Now, okay, I'll get back to everybody's questions after. Now, people always ask me, what can I have during my water fast? Number one thing that you can have during your water fast, obviously, is water. So I always suggest to get some Himalayan salt this is my big Costco bin. I use this one for cooking as well. So again, all the links are down below if you guys don't have anything. Everything I'm going to talk about now are optional. Optional, optional, optional. You don't need anything. You can actually just go with straight water. You don't need anything. But I'm going to talk about the things that I have and I consume and that helps me. So first of all, electrolytes. So you always hear people talking about electrolytes during a water fast and it's just, it's basically just a fancy word for... Where is it? Potassium, magnesium, and sodium, which is the salt. And then obviously calcium is an electrolyte as well. But for the purpose of water fasting, the main ones you're always gonna hear about is potassium, magnesium, and Himalayan salt. So you could do regular table salt if you have it. I prefer just having Himalayan salt because I just have this big Costco bin that I just generally use for cooking. So you just need a pinch of salt and you put it in a glass of water and that's gonna help you replenish those sodium levels. Oh, you guys, all, you guys are all putting those comments on. I'm so happy that you're all here. From Peru, oh, awesome. Okay, so just a little pinch of this in a glass of water, that's totally fine. You can do that a couple days, a couple times throughout the day. You can also just put a little bit on your hand and like lick it. I know some people are weird and we like to kind of like just eat our salt, which is like, that's totally okay as well. So that's an option. What salt does is that the first couple days especially or later on during your fast when you feel a little bit weaker and you're gonna feel more lightheaded, it's gonna really help you replenish those, um, those, you know, those depleted electrolytes and those depleted sodium levels which causes you to have that energy dip. So when you have some salt, it's gonna really perk you back up and you're gonna feel better right away. So salt is my number one, like if you don't have anything at all during this entire fast and you just stick to water, you can use salt sometimes to kind of kickstart your energy back up if you're feeling low energy, okay? So that's number one. Number two, it's optional. I talked about this in the quick reference guide. You can have some potassium and you can have some magnesium. So there's different stuff. Uh, I'll talk about the solution for heartburn in a second. It's apple cider vinegar, but potassium and magnesium. I always take these if I have them. I'm going to take them um, for amount. Here's 100 milligrams. You could just do one, it's optional again. You don't have to take it and it's in the description box down below. Then I take magnesium glycinate when I want to. You could take this before you sleep because a lot of people have trouble sleeping and this is gonna help you if you take it before bedtime because it kind of makes you a little bit drowsy sometimes and you sleep better. There are different types of magnesium. There's magnesium glycinate, there's magnesium citrate. Apparently, according to the research that I've done when I bought these, Magnesium glycinate absorbs better by your body. So that's why I have magnesium glycinate. Then there's potassium. Potassium helps you with all the heart function and stuff. So sometimes people kind of get like a faster heartbeat and for the muscle cramps and stuff like that, this will help as well. It will help with keto flu if you're feeling those sniffles the first couple days. So in terms of magnesium, it's really gonna help you with any type of muscle cramps as well. Now it's normal those first couple days to feel some sort of cramping 
okay? Some people get a lower back pain and that's kind of like, probably most of the time it's the kidneys detoxing. Now make sure that you keep an eye on all these things and make sure you're supervised by a doctor. Obviously you guys know I have to say that. So just be careful with everything and check with your doctor and keep an eye out for things that don't feel super normal. It's okay to have headaches, okay? It's okay to feel lightheaded, it's okay to feel dizzy, but just make sure that you're keeping an eye on different things like that. Some people, the first couple days, they get kind of patchy a little bit, and some people experience full-out keto rash. That's when you kind of start to get a little bit of a rash on your skin. It happened to me a little bit very mild the first time I fasted where I had some red patches, patches or patchiness, and eventually, like on day five, my skin got completely, completely clear. So I just want you guys to know that those are a couple things. I'm gonna put a link down below for the video, I forgot to put it, about the different times of fasting symptoms that you might experience. So like the side effects of detox, when it comes to like dizziness, headaches, muscle cramps, difficulty sleeping. I'm gonna put all of those in that video. You could guys click on it if you guys haven't seen it already. And that's gonna be a way to kind of expect and watch and know what to expect those first couple days of fasting. As you guys know, I always break my fast up mentally because it's a mental game and we have to trick our mind before it tricks us. So I go in chunks. We do first three days. If we feel good, we continue. Next two days, then we hit day five. So I like to break it up in ways that it feels cool for me. So I like doing a milestone at day five, day... I always do this backwards and I can't see the screen. But here's day three, day five, day seven, day 10, day 14, Day 21, which you can't see, which is, oh yeah, you can see it. And then it continues on to 31, but you guys can't see that. Now, you guys can fast for as long as you feel comfortable. Like I said, if you wanna do some fasting, do a refeed, continue with OMAD, that's fine. I'm gonna continue doing the water fast for as long as I can. I think just so I can lead the pack and kinda of lead the way for you guys, I'm probably gonna aim for a 21 again, but it's not necessarily like I'm not necessarily at this point doing it for weight loss, I just like the way that I feel when I'm fasting. And I do obviously, you guys know I wanna lose more weight, but I want this channel to focus a lot more on the healing benefits and also the mental benefits and your mood during fasting above anything else. So I hope that's okay in terms of how this is gonna work and also the electrolytes. I think that's a little bit clear now. If you guys have any questions, you can go ahead. I'm gonna start answering them. Um, now. If you guys are interested, ooh, Jennifer's gonna do 30. Okay, you know what? I might aim for 31 days for the whole month, so we'll see what happens. I'm gonna take it one day at a time, and I want you guys to take it one day at a time as well. Hold on, I just dropped my book. Okay, so if you guys want some information and you wanna stay together with your fast and learn more and really learn and like develop your knowledge about fasting, this is a really good book, Complete Guide to Fasting. Now, Jason Fung talks a lot about drinking bone broth and doing the crutches during the water fasting. So I personally just stick to water, but he talks about taking bone broth and stuff. So if you're super new to this and it's really hard for you to do a water fast, that's totally okay. I know there are people out there who are like super crazy, like, no, this is the way to do it. Pure water, no salt, nothing. You can't have this, you can't have that. That's fine for them. If you wanna do it another day and having a little bit of something helps for you, then do that, okay? Nobody's here to judge your journey. We're all here to do our own journey. So whatever works for you is what works for you, okay? Exactly what Dimitri says. Your own way is the best way. Ignore what everybody else says. Ignore everyone's opinions. You do what you want to do. And then obviously I'm gonna give you tips and tricks of what I do, which helps for me, okay? So. Complete Guide to Fasting is a really good book. You could check in the description box down below. Obesity Code, as you guys know, I talk about this one all the time. It really talks about insulin resistance and which is the key to, you know, obesity in general. The obesity crisis is due to insulin resistance. And then here, Brain Over Binge. I just started reading that. This is my like sticker bookmark. I just put a bunch of stickers in here. So this is a really good book that talks about binging. So if you guys have any binging problems, this is a lady who's bulimic, so we're not talking about that part of it, but the book is actually good for just generally kind of unplugging your brain from that binging mentality, regardless of the eating disorder part. And she talks about this in the book that it's good for anyone who binges, even if you don't have an eating disorder. So I really like this. Um, Tara, good question. So I'm gonna segue right over to the next part. 
What can I drink during my water fast? Like I said, water, duh, <laughs> okay? You can drink water. Then another thing you could do, I don't actually have a coffee machine because I don't drink coffee, so I just have this little dinky instant coffee, but you can drink coffee, black coffee, no sweetener, no creamer, you can have coffee. And this goes for anyone intermittent fasting as well. If you're doing an intermittent fasting window, you shouldn't be having any creamier or creamer or any sugar throughout the day either. You should only be having your coffee or whatever if you're doing intermittent fasting only. This is for intermittent fasting people when you're having your meal. So whoever is doing water fasting, you guys are having no creamer, no sugar, no stevia, no erythritol, no monk fruit, none of that during your fast because actually it's proven or it's kind of like debatable, but a lot of people say that it spikes your insulin, even though it says it's not gonna spike your insulin, so it's better to not have any of those artificial or natural sweeteners, okay? So coffee is what you can have. You can have tea, okay? This is green tea. You can also have things like oolong tea. Just make sure there's no crazy dried fruit and stuff like that in your teas, because if there are, that's kind of sugar, so you wanna skip those. So this is just an example of oolong tea and green tea, which is a yes. Now, people always ask me, what else can I have during my water fast? Uh, yeah, I'll talk about apple cider vinegar in a second. So another thing you can, yes, have during your water fast, and you guys have to listen to your body about this, see if you like it, okay? Sometimes it can make you a little bit hungrier, depending on how you feel, but you can have unsweetened sparkling water. Now, there are different kinds of unsweetened sparkling water, okay? I know some people, you guys have this LaCroix wherever you live. So LaCroix is pretty famous, I think, in the US and also in New Zealand and also in Australia, I believe. Then there's also Bubbly, this brand. You can have that as well. Um, this is just, I don't know if you guys, do you guys have PC in the States? I don't know. But for you guys, Canadians, this one's pretty cheap usually. It's the PC brand one, so President's Choice. Now, the key about bubbling water or sparkly, unsweetened sparkling water is that you get the ones with zero calories, but you also have to check the back to make sure that there are no sweeteners, okay? There should not be any sweeteners. Literally, the only ingredients in here should be carbonated water and natural flavor. I don't know if you see that. Can you see that? Okay, so carbonated water and natural flavor uh, Talel's asking which one do you drink if you're from the UK? I'm not from the UK, but pretty much whichever one that you can find. Um, Farid is asking about anxiety and depression if prolonged water fasting is helping it. I personally made a video about this before. Generally, because you're fixing your gut health during the prolonged water fast, it really helps you change your gut health and improve it. So what it's gonna do is that really it does absolutely, since a lot of depression, stress, and anxiety and ADHD comes from a poor gut health, it will absolutely help. And I've had a lot, a lot, a lot of people message me telling me that it helped with their depression and anxiety. So check with yourself. Like obviously you guys are on this journey and only, oops, I have hair in my face, but you guys know how it works. Like you guys have to listen to your body and go through this yourself, okay? So just check with your doctor about that if you're even allowed fasting, especially if you're on medications, like I said, check with your doctor before because I don't have any type of advice about that. So going back to the sparkling water, pretty much if you're going to drink it, it doesn't really have a flavor, it's pretty bitter, but if you're gonna have it, it's okay. Just a little bit, don't have it like extra extra all the time, but just have it sometimes. Now, this one people ask me all the time, can I have coconut water during my fast? No, <laughs> no coconut water. Coconut water has a lot of sugar. So I didn't actually buy these, but today in the video, I actually have coconut water in the house because my boyfriend decided that he wants coconut water. So I will show you guys. This is coconut water. Look at how much sugar there is on the label. Can you guys see that? The sugar right here, okay? It has 23 grams of sugar per can. That's a lot of sugar. So coconut water is a no-no. Now, what you can have, which is a yes, is LaCroix or bubbly water, which is coconut flavored. Yes, no. Yes, no. Yes, no. You get the point? No coconut water. Coconut water will break your fast, has so much sugar. No. <laughs> yes. Okay, I'm done laughing at myself. 
Um, let me look up the ice brand. I think people have had it before, but I forgot. Just check the back of the label as long as there's no artificial or natural sweeteners, okay? Okay, ice has fake sweeteners. Yeah, so a lot of the time, if it says aspartame or if it says like Splenda or sucralose, those are bad, okay? Those are bad, bad, bad. If it says stevia, monk fruit, erythritol, those are bad too. Even though there's are natural sweeteners and there's zero calories, also bad, not during your fast. I wish that we could have it during our fast, but it's not good to have it during your fast. And I've had people that did it without and did it with because they thought it wouldn't be a problem. And they did the fast twice. The first fast, they really didn't have as good results as the second one. Now, for heartburn, good question. So this here is called apple cider vinegar. Now, if you look very closely, you'll see this stuff, right? This is called the mother. So this is here with the mother, okay? So when you drink this, you mix it up to get that mother inside the apple cider vinegar, and then you could drink this. Now, what this helps with is that if you're feeling that heartburn on the first couple days of water fasting, where you feel that acid reflux or the heartburn, take a little bit of this, like a tablespoon or half an ounce or half a shot glass, take that, put it in some water, Okay, this is just my hypothetical glass of water right now, huh? So thirsty. <laughs> okay, so you just put a little bit in there and you drink it. Now this is going to fix the root cause of your acid reflux, okay? Root cause of acid reflux. Now I know a lot of people are drinking those like snake stuff and all these types of like combinations of miracle fasting juice. You don't need any of that. You really just need this. A lot of people put the baking soda in their water when they're making those like reptile juices, okay? That actually helps you kind of mask the acid reflux. It does not fix the root cause of acid reflux. So when you have apple cider vinegar, it forces your esophageal valve shut and that's what actually fixes the root cause of, uh, um, of acid reflux. So you can have baking soda, a little bit like a quarter teaspoon in water, and it will relieve the symptoms of acid reflux, but it will not fix the root cause of acid reflux. So there is no reason for you to be putting any baking soda in your water, like you actually don't need it. So that's what that is. Um, can you sprinkle cayenne pepper in the water during that? I've never, I've never done it. I've heard some people saying it like really gets your metabolism revved up. So let me just, uh, just kind of look that up before I give you any answer on that. I would just stay away from it in general, but I think spices and stuff should be fine. But I personally just don't do it. So again, whatever works for you, if it works for you, you can go ahead. I know people like to do those fire shots when they do like apple cider vinegar and they put, you know, the, spark, the spicy stuff like cayenne pepper. So if that works for you, you can go ahead. I personally don't do it. My daily routine is pretty much just a pinch of salt, okay? Just a, <laughs> like salt bay. Like a pin, I'm actually Turkish, so the salt bay thing is funny right now, actually. I just thought of that. Because you know the salt bay guy is Turkish and he just like, and I always do this in my videos. But anyway, whatever. <laughs> so just a pinch of salt in your water and that's it, that's all. That's all you need, okay? Um, then what I do, oops. I really just do potassium and I do magnesium, and I don't do them every single day, only sometimes, only when I feel like it. At the beginning, I don't have it, unless I really feel like it. I usually just stick to salt as much as I can, and I have these if I'm feeling any sort of symptoms, or if I'm like deeper into the fast, like day 10, day 14, day 21, then I'll start to take them more. Depends kind of how I'm feeling. Um, what was I gonna say? I also take a multivitamin. Wait, I'm out of the screen now. One sec. Um, okay. So I forgot about this one. So you can also take this one. I have the women's one, obviously. This is just a regular multivitamin. I put the men's one in the links down below as well. You can take just one of these per day as well. The thing about multivitamins is that sometimes on an empty stomach, you might get nauseous, okay? If you get nauseous by taking these, just don't take it. Or if you want, you could take the prenatal ones. The prenatal ones are a little bit easier on the stomach and kind of used to like women being nauseous, obviously. So you could take this as well. I take this only sometimes, again, usually like after day 10 or day 14. It really kind of depends. I don't have like a structured everything every day. I usually try to take potassium, magnesium, and salt at least like every other day. The salt is every day, okay? So I hope that's pretty clear. Um, someone asked a question and I missed it. Oh, does this help with your results? 
sometimes this can help you. Sorry, I'm like my throat's dry now. <laughs> I'm talking too much. Um, okay, so this one here, it could help with your results in the sense that when you have apple cider vinegar, it will help you uh, sometimes kind of help you with your appetite if you're feeling super hungry. So let's say if you're feeling super hungry one day, just put a little bit, like I said, a half an ounce in some water, drink it, that might kill your appetite because it's kind of sour. <laughs> so that might help with you, um, kind of up to you. Now, Listerine, okay, mouthwash, toothpaste. People always ask me, can I brush my teeth and rinse my mouth during a water fast? Please, please rinse your mouth and wash and brush your teeth because you will have something called keto breath or water fasting breath, or the official term is called halitosis. Now, people ask me how to get rid of that nasty, gunky smell in your mouth, like that, you, you just feel it. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. So, what you can do, ta-da, you get a tongue scraper, okay? It has this little like edge, and you just go, ah, and you just kind of like scrape it off. It's like super gentle, you just scrape off the stuff from your tongue, and then you'll feel really good, okay? That will help with your breath. Please continue with your hygiene. Hygiene is important. So yes, brush your teeth. Yes, use your toothpaste. Yes, use your mouthwash. Use your tongue scraper, the link's below. But do not drink the mouthwash. Do not eat the toothpaste. I know you're hungry, but do not eat the toothpaste, okay? So I hope that feels you. I use it all the time, not just for the fast. Yeah, Abby, I always use the tongue scraper. I use it every day anyway, because it just, you know, I don't want, I want to deal with all that breath, you know, I like to have a fresh breath. So this is like a tiny, ridiculous tool, but this is the best thing ever, and I will never regret it, and I love it so much. So I always tell everybody to buy one. There's the Amazon links down below. As you guys know, if you guys buy anything from below, I get like one cent. <laughs> so if you guys are buying something from Amazon, even if you're buying like pajamas or you're buying like an Instant Pot or whatever you want, just click the link below if you're buying anything on Amazon, and I get like a teeny tiny kickback, like... Literally probably like two cents or something, but anyway, I appreciate it if you guys all get it and it makes a difference anyway. Um, in general, how much water I drink per day, just try to drink whenever you're thirsty, whenever you're bored, whenever you're hungry, and whenever you feel like, okay, I haven't drank in a while, just start sipping on some water. Now, you don't have to go excessive. You don't have to be like, I have like five gallons of water that I need to drink per day. Just drink when you're thirsty. There's no absolute rule about it. You don't need to shove it down until you feel like throwing up. But just, you know, stay hydrated. Feel the way that you should be hydrated. You'll know if you're thirsty that probably when you're thirsty, you should drink some water and then drink a little bit more. Because, you know, they say by the time you're drinking, you're probably already dehydrated. So drink as much as you can without just like shoving it down. And just be mindful that throughout the day, it's good that you should sip on water all the time. Now, as you guys know, I do not talk about dry fasting. I do not practice dry fasting. I am pretty much against dry fasting just because there's no added benefits to dry fasting versus water fasting. Water fasting on its own will heal your skin, will heal your skin conditions, will heal your, heal your gut. I can't even speak. But water fasting will do its job. Water fasting is really good. So there's no absolute need to do any sort of this dry fasting. It's just gonna make your life a lot harder for no actual reason to make it harder. Like water fasting for a long period of time is hard enough that you don't need to do this ridiculous dry fasting stuff. So anytime I see dry fasting on the Facebook group, I always like those posts get deleted automatically because I don't want anyone doing dry fasting just because it's just, not safe if they don't know how to do it and I just don't advocate for it so I would appreciate if we all don't talk about any dry fasting because I don't advocate for it on this channel in this community so um, that's that what else oh if you guys want I didn't put the link for this down below I'll put it as well but it's just a tracker you can track this if you want I don't know if you guys know about it but it's just the freestyle Libre they have uh, ads all over I don't use this. I got one for Christmas a while ago because my dad likes to check his insulin levels and he thought it was cool just as an experiment. So he got this for me, but I never used it because I don't know. I just never felt like it. Maybe I should just for fun. But anyway, so that's that. I'll put the link down below as well if you guys want to track that. Um, another thing, ketone test trips. Now, these are not the most accurate thing in the world. Okay. It's just going to tell you. It's just a thing. It's like, it's uh, what do you call it? You just basically pee on a stick. <laughs> this is a very classy conversation. But 
it just kind of tells you at what level the ketones are. Now, again, this is not the most accurate thing in the world, but if you're curious to see whether you're in ketosis or not, this is kind of fun. So I'll, I put the links already in the description box if you guys are going to pick some up anyway. They're basically just little strips. Little strips like this. And it has a little pad right there. And then you pee on the stick. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, that's it. You just kind of compare it to this and see what your ketone levels are. So that's that. What else did I miss? Did I miss anything else? That's how it works. Okay, so I hope you guys had that information about what you can have during your fast, what you can't have, whether you guys can do the fast when you're just doing, or the fasting challenge with OMAD. Yes, you can. I'll talk about refeed maybe in another video, and I will be doing daily live check-ins every single day at 6.30 p.m. EST, so right now. If you guys have not watched it, okay, if you guys can't watch it live, I'm going to post it every single day so you can watch the playback and comment your check-in in the playback. So as soon as I post this, I want everyone to go put it in the comments, like day one checking in, or not day one, because what's going to happen today is that today is when everybody has their last meal since it's Saturday night, and officially the challenge starts on March 1st. So everyone who's watching this, just finish your last meal today, enjoy it, you know, eat mindfully, take your phone away, take your computer away, think about it, journal it. If you guys haven't gone on waterfastingforum.com, I also want everyone here to go on waterfastingforum.com and make an account. If you want, you can make an anonymous account and check in every day there as well, because that's gonna allow you to journal every single day and really clear your thoughts and clear your mind because I'm telling you, the first three days are gonna be the roughest thing that you've ever done in a while, probably maybe in your life for some. So the first three days is tricky. You're gonna feel grumpy, you're gonna feel irritable, you're gonna be like, why did I join this damn challenge? <laughs> Am I less saying damn? But just remember that there's a lot of people, but we're all here together. So everybody's gonna be checking in every single day. I'm doing an extended water fast, like I said, so I'm gonna be here doing it with you guys. It's not the easiest thing, especially for me, even for me, even I've done it many times, it's still hard at some point, the first three days. After day five, it gets much easier, okay? After day five, you will really, really thank me for pushing you past day five, because after day five, something magical happens and your mood improves and then everything just feels really good. Your mood, you feel like you're walking on clouds, you don't have that irritability anymore, you feel more in control, your relationship with food starts to change because you realize you don't need to eat that much, and you just feel really good. And I know a lot of people were in the last challenge, especially in January, and you guys know how it works. So I'm just here so we're for us to educate more people in our circles bigger this time for the challenge. Now, keep in mind, if you fail, come back and comment in the comments. We will not shun you and throw you out of the group for failing your fast. Try not to fail. And if you're thinking about failing, write down five reasons about why you want to break your fast before you break your fast. <laughs> Someone, Big Bad John said, food and I are not on speaking terms. Exactly. So there's nothing to be mad about food, but that just made me laugh. Um, yeah, so just write down five reasons why you want to break your fast before you break your fast. Try to go journal about why you wanna break your fast because most of the time, the reason number one is gonna be because I feel like I can, because I'm hungry. Number two, you're gonna be like, because I wanna eat this thing and I'm craving it. But you're not gonna be able to think of the other three reasons. Robert, I've been waiting for you to come on for a while. Please message me on the water fasting forum so we can have a chat after this. Robert did a huge fast. And he did like 30 plus days, I think. I think he did 31 days in January. So I am so excited that you are back, Robert. Congratulations. I'm so happy. Wow, that makes me happy. I was waiting for you to sign off for a while so I could tell people about how amazing your fast was. He stopped a bunch of his medications and stuff last time he did the fast. So welcome back, Robert. You are a hero for our group. Our group was just you were leading the pack last time. 41 days, 41 days, sorry. Not 31 days, he did 41 days. I knew it was more than that. Wow, amazing. Okay, I hope you share your stuff after. Um, I'm gonna do the Q&A now because I've been talking for the past 34 minutes and not really answering questions. So what kind of questions do you guys have? Oh, Jamie, <laughs> you don't need to do that. Thanks, Jamie, I love you. <laughs> Jamie started her fast already. She's over there in New Zealand. <laughs> Jamie, if coronavirus breaks out, I'm coming to New Zealand and we're getting a bunker, okay? 
Okay, actually, on a serious note, though, I would like to tell everybody, just because of all this news that's going around and it's kind of making me stressed and I want everybody to be safe, two things to note, or there's a couple things to note. Please wash your hands a lot. Okay, you will have the keto flu at the beginning, so don't get too stressed if you get sniffles and stuff at the beginning of your fast. But please, 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 please wash your hands as much as you can. You guys know it's flu season and we have that coronavirus coming out and stuff like that. So just please, 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 please. I want everyone in the group to take care. Wash your hands. It's really important. If you guys don't have any surgical masks, you can actually make a surgical mask with like paper towel and put uh, the elastic bands and put them around your ears. Really, I know people are not scared about this, but it's really important for you guys to make this because maybe we're not being told everything we should be told. There's a lot of lies going about, about it and I would just like everybody to be careful. Use your Clorox wipes, get some hand sanitizer. This is completely unrelated to fasting. Another thing is that if we do end up being in some sort of apocalypse, everybody who fasts, we all know here that you don't need to eat every day. So if there's some type of apocalypse, you guys are not gonna freak out. So we're actually gonna last longer and we're gonna do really well. So that's really good to know that fasting is important in life in general, because you know that you could survive a long time. But honestly, in all honesty, guys, just go get some canned foods to keep at home. Even if we're like totally overreacting about this, please get some water, get some canned foods, get some hand sanitizers and get some Clorox wipes. Totally not exaggerating, but anyway, whatever. Like worst case scenario, if we're over exaggerating about that, we can laugh about it. But anyway, I just want to tell you guys, please be safe, wash your hands, don't touch anything and just be safe about that. Um, okay, going back to water fasting questions. Let's go. Who has questions? Angie says, can't wait. I did the January challenge and I'm excited about the March challenge. Yeah, Angie. Angie is going to wear this beautiful Jennifer Lopez green dress with a decollete when she hits her goal. So we're very excited about that. Um, how long does it last tongue scraper? I mean, it's just a piece of plastic. So I'm pretty sure if you just clean it properly every day, you can use it forever. I mean, unless for some reason it gets gunky or something, but I just wash mine like I would a toothbrush every day. So you could keep it pretty much probably forever. I mean, maybe you have to change it every six months or a year or something, but just sanitize it <laughs> with mouthwash. Um, Dimitri, I just wanted to say I haven't been commenting and watching your lives. I felt ashamed I gained all my weight back adopting a better mindset. Dimitri, don't worry about it. We forget it. Some things, some things happen. Remember what I said, we go forward, we fast forward. What's your last minute football before you fasted? Oh, I don't know what that means. My huge belly causes back pains. My huge belly, big bad John. That's good, we'll get rid of that belly during the fasting. It's not good to have weight around our stomachs anyway. So we're doing this for health, as you guys know. Dimitri, don't worry. Anyone who was here, anyone who's back, anyone who failed the last challenge, don't worry. Everything will be fine. You don't need to worry about whether you gain the weight back. That's why this time we're not focusing about the weight. We're focusing about our mental state. Okay, if a fast is causing you to gain weight after because you get stressed and then you get more stressed that you don't wanna come back because you feel ashamed, that's gonna mess up your mental state. We wanna be in control as much as we can. So it's really important to just let me know. Honestly, if you messed up, comment in one of the videos. I answer all my comments. Let me know, hey, I messed up. We'll talk about it and we'll get you back on track. My goal here is not for everybody to be perfect. My goal here is for everybody to get back on track every single time you fail. If you guys think I've never failed, if you guys think I've never failed, like you have no idea. If you guys think I never eat something bad, you guys are ridiculous. If you guys think I have a problem, you know, if I have sugar, I will relapse. I know I will relapse. If I have too many carbs, I will relapse. It's not necessarily your fault. Maybe it's your fault to allow yourself to have the sugar or the carbs the first time, but don't, don't forget, what happens is that once you have a little bit of carbs, those are designed, as you guys know, the scientists, the engineers, the in-house like scientists that are making it, they create that bliss point to make the food so addicted, addictive that you're gonna be obsessed with it, that you need to have it. You get addicted to it and that's what happens. For the gummies, Sarah says, can I have gummies? I would say, I would say no because the gummies actually have sugar in it. Siobhan says, I've been having a really bad time with fasting this past year. Don't worry, guys. Let's just take this one day at a time. Forget about the weight loss. Let's just do this to achieve our goals in terms of health, okay? Every single person messes up. Honestly, if you guys think I never mess up 
And imagine if I mess up, it's a lot harder for me because then I have to come tell all of you and then I look like a failure, right? So it's a lot of pressure on me as well, but I'm telling you guys 100%, I also mess up and it doesn't matter because at least when you messed up, okay, let's just say for the sake of argument, Dimitri, for example, let's say that in January you didn't do the fast, right? So let's say in January you didn't do that fast. So you're here, this is your weight, okay? Then, okay, I'll just turn it this way. So this is your weight, okay, without doing the fast in January, okay? This could have been your weight if you messed up from this weight before you did your fast in January. But instead, you did a fast and you lost weight and then you gained some back. So you didn't get up here. You didn't gain anything more. You maybe just lost weight and gained it back or maybe lost weight and gained some back, but you didn't gain more weight, right? Most people throughout the years, they gain more and more and more and more and more weight. So at least by fasting, you can eat a little bit, get a little bit crazy and go back to where you started, but you're not gaining anything more. So don't forget. Also, maybe you were here, maybe you lost some weight, maybe you gained it back and you're here again, but guess what? You actually healed your gut health. You actually changed your insulin levels, like your insulin resistance, you definitely helped it. Okay, so don't forget, even if you're here, okay, let's say even if you're here, you lose this much weight and you gain it back and you're at the exact same point. It doesn't matter, really, because you still healed yourself. Well, there's some crazy stuff going on here, so I'm gonna read this. More than 500 evacuated from overseas. Yeah, honestly, what's the best meal to eat before you start? Higher ground, Angie's here. What's up, Angie? If you guys don't follow Angie, Angie's higher ground. She just clicked here. You guys can go follow her YouTube channel as well. She just started it. Uh, she was one of our golden transformations the other day. What brand of water, what should we drink, smart water? Honestly, I don't know where you guys live in the world, but my tap water is good here in Canada. So I drink tap water. I could potentially get one of those water purifiers or softeners, but I didn't get one because I just drink my tap water because I don't want to spend tons of money on water when there's just free water because <laughs> fasting's free. Um, the fast is going to be as long as you want the fast to be, okay? This is the calendar. If you want to do three days and then stop, if you want to do five days and then stop, if you want to do seven days and then continue doing OMAD, if you want to do 10 days and then you want to refeed and do OMAD or intermittent fasting, we're going to do the challenge for the whole month. So stay on track the whole month, but that doesn't mean you need to water fast for the whole month. Now, like I said, because I'm leading the pack and I want to motivate you guys and you guys like seeing me suffering along with you guys, no, I'm just kidding, you're not suffering, but since you like, Oops, how long are you doing? Exactly, so I'm gonna probably, again, take it one day at a time for our mental sake, but I'm thinking of trying to do 21. <laughs> okay, I wanna try to do 21. Ooh, Farid, you are very talkative today. <laughs> okay, let me go check some of these comments. Um, uh, 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 oh my God, I've been swallowing multivitamins with water. Yeah, two grams of sugar. Do not do not, you know the gummies? I have gummies too. I told you guys a story about when I almost convinced myself to eat gummies every day because it's a vitamin, but there's sugar, so it's better not to. Um, Zach says, heard it's better to have distilled water because there's none of that junk in it. You know, there's a lot of junk in our water sometimes. Christine says, I'm gonna try this Mars fast, but I'm afraid I'm gonna fail too early. Christine, everybody's afraid that they're gonna fail too early, but you know how to not fail is just take your hand and not allow it to put food in your mind, I mean, in your mouth. Your mind can tell you, oh, I'm hungry, I wanna eat that. But you have the control because without your hand, you cannot put the food in your mouth. Unless technically you go like, uh, then you can eat it without your hand, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, so this is your hand. If you do not give your hand the permission to move and grab the food and put it in your mouth, it's gonna be very hard to eat it. So before you allow your hand to put the food in your mouth, think about it, journal it, message me right down here, let me read little. Okay, I can't speak. Guys, you guys are so adorable. I never had this many people on the live before. You guys are making me like bleshy and nervous. Um, what's my last meal before I start? Well, I'm honestly not hungry right now, so I might just continue going. Ooh, Dimitri, Mama's well. Mama's doing better. She's great. Um, I'm gonna go back. You guys can just, you know, don't go crazy. Don't have any carbs. Don't have any sugar. Don't go on a binge. Just have a reasonable meal and then get started right away tonight. Georgia said, been 223, started fasting and gained. I've been up and down. No one's perfect, but I'm still trying. Now I'm at 205 pounds. See, Georgia lost like 23 pounds, 22 pounds already. You are awesome. 
I'm gonna go up and see these comments. How long is the fast gonna be? I answered that one. What brand of water? I answered that one. What's the best meal? We're talking about this. You're right. Okay. Uh, I really, really want to film. Oh, yeah. I guess I'm reading the wrong. Farid is being funny. Farid, you're very talkative today. <laughs> I'm going to eat half a watermelon right now. How do I avoid blowing up after a fast? I've put 70 pounds on since my last 40 day extended fast four years ago and I rebounded hardcore. I'm frightened. Sarah, if you want, shoot me an email. We could talk one to one afterwards. Uh, you, my email is down below. It's fastforwardhealth.gmail.com. Maybe if you need some more accountability, we can talk about what we can do so I can keep you on track. A lot of you guys are doing the one-on-one -on -one program with me this month. If you are on my Patreon or if you guys want, that's totally fine. We can work one-on-one. -on -one. Everybody that I'm working with one-on-one, -on -one, we're going to focus really, really, really hard on refeed this time because that's the hardest part. The refeed, I know some people did a really good job for like two weeks and then when you guys start to get quiet on me and you don't respond to my daily check-ins, then we know what's going on. <laughs> I can't read them out loud. You guys are, remember the other person, the, the hit me up guy, Righteous, and then this, right? Oh, you guys are funny. Um, anyway, so for Sarah, if you want, just shoot me an email after so we could chat about it and I'm gonna try to help you get it down and really keep it under control and everything like that. There's gonna be some ups and downs, okay, but we can continue on. So if you can, Sarah, shoot me an email and we'll talk about it. Um, you guys are just making, there's always, you guys are funny, like, you guys are funny. I'm trying not to read the, the comments out loud. <laughs> you guys are funny. Oh my god. Oh, I just broke something. Okay. Okay, okay, let's talk a little bit about how to stay busy during your fast. And I'm probably gonna make other proper YouTube videos on these, okay? Because now you guys got me all giggly again because you're making me laugh. <laughs> but, okay, what to do when you want to fast? And then you have food time. And then, yeah, I would avoid gum. Gum is gonna get your salivary glands glowing, gl going, and you're gonna get all hungry. So try to skip the gum. I know some people, you guys like, <laughs> like finding every excuse on the moon to like put something in your mouth, whether it's like crunching the salt or eating ice cubes or <laughs> I don't know, you guys do stuff. So what you do when you get home from work, you have a plan, you stay busy. Okay, if you guys want different hobbies, learn an instrument, read a book. These books they will keep you on track. Come watch my videos. Come spam me on Instagram. I'm there. You guys can message me on Facebook or Instagram. Um, I put all my Instagrams down below. I have two accounts. So my, my official one that I use is like the one with my name, Y-P-I-Y-A-L-E. But you guys can also follow the fast forward underscore to health one. Um, another thing you guys can do if you want to stay busy is oh <laughs> make a garden garden um exactly Dimitri laughter is good let's laugh our way through it that's what we're gonna do honestly if you guys come watch me every day you'll probably get distracted from food oh wait this is breaking once okay I'm feeling pretty good guys. I had a really bad couple weeks. I had to disappear from my lives because I got so drained that I had to go recharge my batteries. And I thought I let everybody down because I just like needed a mental break off of YouTube. And I probably just hid myself under a cover and was like, no, I'm not making videos. Um, is it good to weigh yourself every day? There's no need to weigh yourself every day because the first week, I'll tell you, first day you're gonna see like two, three pounds come off. Second day, maybe another pound fourth day, third day, you're gonna see another pound. And then around 10 days, it's gonna stop. And then you're gonna keep weighing yourself every day and you're gonna be like, why is my weight not going down again? I'm doing something right. But don't forget, 0 0.5 pounds per day is the average. Just because you lose 25 pounds or 30 pounds during those 21 days does not mean that that's gonna stay off forever. You will gain some back with water weight and then we will fast again and get the rest of it off, okay? If you gain some, you lose some. You start here, you go down and then you go up a little bit. And then you start here and then you go down and you go up a little bit. And that's how we go because fasting is our lifestyle. Fasting, focus, lifestyle. You guys got this. Um, lack of sleep will happen, exactly. Use the early mornings to read. Oh, I forgot to talk about something. Okay, so this is my hair, okay? This is my hair. I first did a fast, okay? 
the one that I had done in July, I had done two long fasts back to back. Then about a couple weeks later, I would brush my hair and then all my hair was out and then I started freaking out. Or I would shower and then I would have these like little, okay, when I say clump of hair, it's only like four hairs together, but it looks a lot thicker. So it started falling out. Then I started freaking out because I'm a girl, but I knew it would kind of happen. And then I was like, no, I'm gonna lose my hair forever. So I recommend to people, if you guys want, it is okay, or I did it, so I don't know if it's okay. You could check with your doctor, see if it's okay. But I took biotin every single day during my last fast. <laughs> Angie. Uh, I took biotin every single day during my last fast, and now my hair is nice. I think it's nice. But it was like falling out, and it's totally stopped falling out, so this is really good. Also, did you guys know, my nails started growing a lot, and my eyelashes, okay. I don't know if you can see this. Can you see my eyelashes? <laughs> oh, now you guys saw my nose. You know I'm shy about my nose. Um, but anyway. But you guys can take biotin. So that's in the links down below as well. So you guys can do that. Um, what else? I'm gonna keep this a little like shorter than usual. <laughs> but honestly guys, can you see? Can you see how long they are? Okay, I have blonde eyelashes. I even did an eyelash tint. Remember I told you guys I was gonna do it? It was so bad because it didn't even show that I didn't even make a video about it. But like, look how long they are. And that's all because of my biotin, I think. Um, on average, how much water weight do you regain? How about people, if you guys want, don't weigh yourself every day, okay? You will weigh some water weight. At the, some point, just remember, 0 0.5 pounds a day is how much you should lose. So let's say on a 21 day fast, just doing quick math without caring, maybe you'll lose like 10.5 pounds, okay? That's how much you really should lose. You can keep it all off. You can just gain back like five or six pounds. You can gain up to 10 pounds, but it's better to just remember that at the end of the day, if you gain it back on average, most people usually only lose 0 0.5 pounds per day. So maybe that's a reason that you shouldn't weigh yourself every day because when you get that water weight fluctuate back on, even can come back like the next day and go away again when you continue your intermittent fasting, it's possible. But just remember, we're not doing this purely for weight loss, okay? There, Abby said I lost 10 pounds, haven't gained anything back. So it really depends on how you eat after your fast. When can we expect another production of exposing the food industry? I know I need to do one again, right guys? Oh, my list is so long. I was hiding under a blanket for the past couple weeks because I was just, I don't know, I was in that kind of mood sometimes. I should make another video about it, right? Okay. I will, Dimitri, just for you. <laughs> Sarah says, can we all find ways to make money as we're fasting together since we won't be able to eat? We can use our time, ideas, suggestions for digital and passive income ideas. That's a good idea in terms of self-development, okay? You could do things to become more self-aware in terms of reading, or maybe if you guys have a hobby that you wanna work on and monetize, like work on that. There's a lot of things that out there, you know, the internet's a beautiful place. So work on your new business idea if that's what you wanna do. Use that time, because I'm telling you guys, when you're fasting, your mind is so clear. If you have a project that you've been wanting to do, if you guys have cleaning that you wanted to do, if you wanna build a little garden like I did, <laughs> Um, there's so many things that you guys can do that you need to spend this time that you finally have free time where you're not cooking and doing dishes except maybe a small meal for your family or not, okay, feed them properly, a big meal for your family. But remember, you're going to save so much time because you're not eating every five seconds or thinking about food anymore. So now you're going to have this like void in your life where you have so much time to do something. Me, I want to get, I don't know, honestly, Angie, I'm like, I feel good right now. In my whole life, I feel like I've, I've been obsessing over my weight. So I do eventually wanna get down to a low weight, as you guys know, just because I do wanna have kids. And I wanna start from a lower weight so I can gain like a normal amount during the pregnancy that I will have eventually. That is not happening right now, don't worry guys. <laughs> I'll tell you guys if it happens, but not yet. So just remember, like I just wanna get down to a certain weight eventually, but. I'm taking it one day at a time. I'm not in a huge rush to lose weight because I feel good and it's been years. It's been years since I felt good. So I don't wanna obsess over the scale load anymore and I just wanna keep fasting and living this lifestyle and focusing on the health aspect and focusing on helping you guys and getting to that low weight but not because <laughs> Turkish baby. There'll be half Turkish, half Chinese babies which I'm so curious to see what they will look like. But I just want everybody to just not focus so much on the weight 
weight will come off, your health will happen, you will get healthy when you're fasting, whether it's intermittent fasting or whether it's water fasting. And all you need to know is that you have your whole life to eat the foods that you love. You know, I always say that. So just delay it, don't deny it. You will be able to have the foods, just not right now and maybe not for the next, like, depending how many days you're doing, okay? If you guys want to, go for 21 days, let's do it. Honestly, I fast whenever you guys want me to fast with you guys, <laughs> but it really depends. Um, I take collagen, do you think that helps too? Honestly, like in terms of collagen, I take the one when I make the bone broth that has a lot of collagen in it when you boil those chicken feet, but I don't actually take any collagen powder. I think that's kind of like a new, you know, everybody's getting that collagen craze and everybody's getting collagen these days, so I can't speak on it just because I've never taken it. Um, yeah, Christine, I basically fast when you guys want to do a group fast and then I, I kind of want to pump you guys up. But I also fast like once in a while just like throughout the week as well because it's a lifestyle. Glenn says, I agree with yourself. Not weighing yourself every day. 100% focus on long-term goal. Exactly. Uh, Angie, I think in, in general, I didn't finish answering your question. I think eventually I want to get down to like 135, 130, 140. Even if I'm in the 140s, low 140s, like, it doesn't matter for me. As long as I feel good and I look good and I have my confidence back, then that's all that matters to me at the, at the moment. Um, yeah, so I think everything, did I answer everything? If you guys want to support, feel free. Like, honestly, I really appreciate it. I'm going to be doing these lives every single day. If you guys want to support, I appreciate any sort of support. If you guys want to send any sort of donation, because you know a lot of people charge for their challenges, and they're like, you need to pay me $500 to join the challenge. But, but I need them all free for you guys. So if you guys want to support me on Patreon, it's down below. You can join our Patreon community. Um, I check those messages first. So if ever you guys message me with a question, I'll answer those ones first. So you can check that. My lives are going to be at 6.30 p.m. EST every single day. So if you guys want to donate, and like let's just say every single person you guys want to give like $5 to join the challenge to hold yourself accountable, you can do the accountability pledge on Patreon. So you can send like $5 over if you want to. I appreciate everything. So if you guys feel like you want to like donate something just to help support me with this challenge, that's awesome as well. Um, if you guys want to do the one-on-one -on -one coaching, we have two options. We can do it through the PayPal down below or we can do it through the Patreon. There's a bunch of different options. Uh, I currently only have two spots left because they're pretty much all full now. Um, so if you guys need that one-on-one -on -one accountability and that one-on-one -on -one coaching, let me know. We could jump on a phone call and talk face-to-face -face and kind of get to your goals and get to the bottom of it. Every single one of you, I want you guys to be the next people on the next compilation video that I'm doing with Transformations. And remember, it is your year, it is 2020, it is a great year, so I want everybody to focus on their health and everybody to focus on their journey because it's about time that you have your own success story and I want you to get there this year. No more procrastinating it because no magical fairy will wake you up tomorrow morning and say, hey, today we're gonna lose 50 pounds. No, you have to do it on your own. So stop thinking about success and start, start taking the actions in order to become successful. Success doesn't just happen, you have to go and get it, okay? So, Sunny's gonna be in the next transformation. Who, who's gonna be in the next transformation video, guys? Let me know, who's gonna be in the next transformation video? Brenda, are you gonna be in the next transformation video? Dimitri, are you gonna be in the next transformation video? Because I wanna get a lot of you guys in that next transformation video, okay? And if you guys want, I got these like little shirts, you guys saw them last time, my fast forward shirts, the tank top the t-shirt and the hoodie. If you guys want one, I put the shirt link down below. I really want us to be a big family, a big community. So it would be cool if we all have a shirt and we like show our shirts and you know take photos with our cool shirts and just spread the word about fasting. Obviously you guys don't have to get a shirt, but if you want to, go ahead, share. You're gonna be on the next transformation video. Dimitri, you do your best. You're gonna be on the next transformation video. Angie was just in the transformation video. Sarah is gonna be on the next transformation video. Bad skin breakout and hair was not growing very well. Should I be taking? Uh, Sarah, if you weren't taking any vitamins, you can go ahead and take them. That might help. Okay. So I hope you guys are happy. I'll make the tra I'm gonna try to make my transformation videos like every ten stories that I have. So maybe I'm gonna do one a month. So you can be on the one next month, or the one in two months, or the one in three months. Don't worry about the weight loss. Even if your weight doesn't go down, it doesn't matter. You're healing your gut. You're living a healthier lifestyle and you will lose at least a couple pounds. There's no way it's inevitable that you're not going to lose weight. Okay? So I hope that was informative. Inform oh, Anu is here. Anu was doing, Anu, you were doing an amazing, Anu is back on track. We all get back on track. Now we're talking face to face. 
You were hiding from me for a little while, so now you are back. We got this, okay? When you guys get quiet on me, I know what's up, because I've been there. You hide under a blanket, you pretend nothing's happening, you don't want to talk to me. When you guys have struggles, that's when I want to know. Comment down below, let me know your struggles. Okay, if you fail, let me know, we'll fail forward, okay? So I'm gonna leave you guys at this note, it's been about an hour, we got this. Every single person, whoever is finished, or whatever time zone you're in, February 29th, so today for a lot of us, last meal. As soon as you finish your last meal, turn on your, your, your timer on the whatever, if you have one of those fasting apps, turn it on. We're starting hardcore, no matter what, March 1st. No more excuses. No more snowballing. If we were being naughty, we get back on track. So every single person, have your last meal today. Enjoy it if you haven't had it yet. If you're already in New Zealand or if you're in Australia, you already had your meal, let's go. We're done, we got started. So let's go have our nice meals now if we haven't already and let's set the clocks. I will be back tomorrow at 6.30 p.m. EST. I'm gonna put a link down below. I want you guys to watch the video about the symptoms and I want also you guys to watch the video about, um, I forgot mental programming for the fast okay i'm gonna put the links in the comments i think i'll put the links in the comments and i'll pin my comment so let me know watch the video comment your check-in in the comments down below and we're getting started so i want you guys to comment every single day if you miss the live you watch the playback and you comment every single day that's it that's all no excuses okay you don't need to eat every single day you've eaten your whole life you've had enough food you don't need to eat it anymore it's over now we're gonna take some time, care about our bodies, heal from within, detox from within, not focus on our weight, focus on the journey and getting healthy all together. Okay guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna post some more videos and I'm gonna start making more videos as well because I haven't been posting any, that's all. Okay, I love you guys, let's go. We're going strong on this challenge and you guys are gonna make it as far as you wanna make it. So set a goal and get there one day at a time, okay? I'll see you guys later. Bye. Oh, hanging up. Okay. Bye, guys.